Yes, hello there, this is Mark Bakker again, short video with the power of PowerShell, today a demo on uh, PowerShell 7, some new stuff, um, specifically some parallelism, if I can pronounce it, it's, it's uh, parallel actions, and uh, there's some new stuff in PowerShell 7, so what I did, I uh, already showed it here, I have like PowerShell 7 now installed here and configured inside of Visual Studio. And you can do that uh, by searching this in settings. You have here like settings, right? You go to settings and then you search for the terminal window and then you can edit in JSON. And then you get like the screen you see here and I put all this in, right? And that means that my default shell is now pointing to where I installed PowerShell 7. Okay. So there is some new stuff. Um, I'm going to do some basic uh, get child item on the C drive, for instance. And let's see what we get. Uh, okay, fair enough. We get some, uh, some stuff back there, right? And if we now do like a, for each object on that, for each object, and you do a dollar under bar, you still get like the same, right? Still the same. But if I add a line here under for each, for instance, I do a one liner, uh, by the way, for this time, I'm not gonna do multi line sleep minus seconds, and then I do like uh, one second for now. Uh, I do milliseconds, by the way. You can specify that as well, milliseconds, uh, 250. So if I run it now, see, it takes a little bit more time. What you can do uh, is measure it, of course. You have like the measure command, right, there. And you open and close that, and you do it like that, and then you stick your, even multi-line stuff doesn't matter, you stick that in there. Right, and now still we get the same result. Only you don't see the output yet, or not at all. But you see how long it took. And we can store this, of course, in a variable like t, for instance. Right? And then, for instance, we run this command again. So 2.5 seconds, right? If I now make this a half a second, right? And imagine you're running a script across several systems and uh, yeah, so this will take five seconds, right? Now, if you do like, I think we can do it here, minus parallel, parallel, pretty sure this, I'm not 100% sure by the way, yes, should be fine. And now we have still T. You see, but it was already quicker. And now we're going to measure that command again. So we're going to see now with parallel what the time is. You see, you still have like a, a half a second uh, pause. It took like 1.13 seconds this time. But there is another flag. So you can also do like throttle limit, I found out. And if you set that, to, I do it now for 25. That means then 25. <clears throat> The same occurrences or uh, no uh, like 25 items are the max and uh, that's the throttle so you can't exceed that and if you now run it you see it took like 0 0.63 seconds and if this is like a pause of two seconds right we run everything again uh, I will do the measure command by the way I will run everything you see, two, two seconds, and that's because of this milliseconds. And basically every item we get back, yeah, right? Because this is perhaps a little bit more readable for the most of you, but hang on. <clears throat> right? So I stick in T for each minus parallel. So this one, if you don't do the parallel, then you need to wait for each item two seconds before it returns. And now basically you execute everything at a max of 25, of course, 25 items at one. That's based on this, this. and you retrieve them at once. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty nice feature uh, because I worked with old versions of PowerShell as well and did some with, with the 
Windows workflow engine and then PowerShell workflows, and you can do some parallelism then uh, there as well. But I think this approach is much better. So uh, yeah, thumbs up for PowerShell seven, I guess. So I'm probably going to make some more videos if I discover even more new stuff. I just installed it and I discovered this uh, new feature of the parallelism on the on the each object, for instance. So I thought it was nice of me to share with you. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I hope you get some benefits from this uh, information in this short video. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.